Welcome to Dr. Karen Health Talks. I'm Dr. Karen. And today I'm going to do something I don't usually do, which is give you a list. So if you're listening in the car or on a walk, which I know many of you do as you move through your day, this one you might want to come back to to make the list when you're not uh, otherwise distracted. So I'm actually going to give you a list of my 12-step program to beat sugar addiction. Yes, I use the word sugar addiction. Sugar is an addiction, and I have certainly covered this in previous podcasts. But what I want to do is pretty much give you my 12-step process, because I am a recovering sugar addict, and I have been through a journey to find my natural, normal weight, living a life where I don't have those cravings and I don't have the bloating that goes along with the cravings. Certainly I could relapse into it if I used all my uh, favorite food addictions, sugar addictions, but I'm just going to give you, obviously these are tips, these are guidelines and it's a tongue-in-cheek 12-step program. It's certainly nothing like the amazing 12-step program of um, AA created, but it's my very practical nutritional approach, nutritional 12-step program. Let's just talk about that. So let's start. Number one, forget fruit juices. Oh yeah. How did we get to the point where you wake up in the morning on an empty stomach and there's orange juice, concentrated sugar. Let's put that into our body so we spike up our blood sugar and get our body all ready and craving for the rest of the day. So if you're going to have fruit, have the whole piece of fruit as nature intended it and have some protein with it. So forget fruit juices. So number two, always eat breakfast. Now there's a bit of a caveat to that. Remember the the word breakfast is break fast. So a lot of people are doing intermittent fasting right now, which I totally support. I think it's a fabulous way to give your body a a rest and to give your cells some healing, to reduce inflammation, to improve brain health, to uh, aid weight loss, to aid your um, body fat labs, your cholesterol. There's so many benefits of intermittent fasting. So when you break your fast, that would be breakfast and make sure that your breakfast has protein in it. In fact, number three is always eat protein with every meal because protein helps stabilize that blood sugar. Number four, remove white foods. I would say except cauliflower and except jicama. I do like jicama. And both of those, of course, are low glycemic. But I'm talking about the white foods that are really refined white foods, white bread, white spaghetti, white rice, white pasta. These are all concentrated sugar that are certainly going to spike up your blood sugar. Number five, read labels. I teach my clients the first thing to look at a label is total carbohydrates. Then subtract the amount of fiber from the carbohydrates and you'll get your net carbohydrates. And when you are really trying to balance your blood sugar and follow this low glycemic eating plan, because yes, sugar is fattening, and we've been taught so much about calories in and calories out and just ignoring that carbohydrate label, then you want to be really counting your net carbs. I eat about 30 to 35 net carbs a day. That's my goal to keep my cravings, my blood sugar, and my bloating at bay. Number six, uh, eat every two to three hours. Now, for some people, this really works. Uh, Remember when we used to say, oh, yes, eat five or six meals a day. Well, what's a meal? Um, The idea of that was to, if you ate protein with each of those, then you would balance your blood sugar. This is very much an individual thing. Some people do really well on three meals a day. Some people do well on smaller servings, two, three, four times a day. Uh, Find your best way that you feel satisfied, cravings at bay, and you're not starving because I don't believe in deprivation. It's really good to feel fulfilled. 
So don't starve yourself. When you starve yourself, you start to store all those calories as fat. Uh, number seven, I keep a food journal for a week. I know I have, I have struggled with this myself. I do not like writing down what I eat. It seems like too much of the days when I used to diet as a competitive swimmer and I had a logbook and I had to write down everything I ate. So I've kind of traumatized from that in my early life. But I do know that uh, I use a carb counter, an app called Carb Manager. And for a week, if I do that and I really notice the carbohydrate content of my foods, because I can, I've got a little scanner and I can use my phone to scan, makes it easy. It really makes me more mindful of the foods I'm eating. It really does work. So when we say food journal, make it what it works for you. Maybe it's an app like I use that I just kind of hover over the food item or the food items are all there. I just click. I don't have to write anything down. Theoretically, I'm just using my iPhone, but it really does make me mindful of what I'm putting in my mouth. And number eight, you won't be surprised at this, move your body every day. Now, I exercise, of course, is a powerful antidepressant. It's powerful for your lymphatic system. It's powerful for your mood and emotions. Exercise will not, on its own, take away the weight or the cravings. You've got to work with nutrition. I exercise so that my mood, my mind is in balance with my goals. It helps me get clearer and make better choices during the day. Of course, it also helps with body fat balance. Number nine, stock your refrigerator with low glycemic snacks. This is what I tell all of my sugar busters. Go to the store and use my low glycemic shopping list. You'll find a shopping list on my website, drkarenwolf.org. And these are lots of veggies and lots of snack foods like hummus and, and hard-boiled eggs if you can eat eggs. Have your fridge stockpiled with these things. I make grilled chicken breasts so that they're there when I'm hungry. A big salad. I cook up a lovely saute of vegetables so that I always have something there that's healthy. Number 10, try a sugar detox. Now, I love my five-day sugar cleanse. It's a jump start. It gets you off the sugar roller coaster really fast for five days. And then we move into healthy eating. And you can certainly find out about that on my website, drkarenwolf.org forward slash sugar busters. Uh, right there on my website under programs. And that takes that initial overwhelming sugar cravings away and the, the body resets and it adjusts to processing insulin better. Number 11, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Drink 80 to 90 ounces of water a day. The more water you drink, the more your body will not be hungry and the more your cellular nutrition will improve, you'll be able to process sugars better. I cannot reinforce enough the importance of drinking, hydrating, lots of really healthy filtered water. And number 12 in my 12-step program is get good quality sleep. Sleep deprivation can trigger the hunger hormone as well as the stress hormone. It increases appetite, increases cravings, not to mention it increases uh, our sleep deprivation, increases inflammation in the body and is part of the root cause of every chronic illness. Sleep is where we repair and we regenerate it's so important, and I know in this fast-paced life, that's the thing that often gets left out, is the discussion about sleep. So, there in about nine minutes is my 12-step program to beat sugar addiction. Maybe you'll pick one. Maybe you heard, oh yes, I've got to drink more water. Or maybe you heard, I've got to read those labels and start looking at the carbohydrate content, the net carbohydrate content by subtracting total carbs subtracting fiber from total carbs. So just start somewhere. And I hope you find your path to good health, to feeling 
in control of those sugar cravings because I know how they can creep up and take over our life. And our lifestyle can activate, good lifestyle habits can activate that downward spiral and help you live a high quality life, vibrant at your natural, normal weight, free of cravings. And that's what I wish for you. So until next time, this is Dr. Karen Wolf with Dr. Karen Wolf Health Talks. Bye for now.